Alrighty, looking at some more axial muscles here. Here we have our bust model. On him you can see your frontalis, your orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris here, sternocleidomastoid right here. Remember, mastoid process to the sternum and the clavicle, sternocleidomastoid. This superficial muscle here is the platysma. Here's your deltoid, pectoralis major, both of these. Here's deltoid over here. Here's your trapezius. If we take this pectoralis major off, you can see pectoralis minor. You can also see external intercostals. Remember, these are superficial, hands in pockets, internal intercostal from the inside. These are deep, opposite hands and pockets direction for their muscle fibers. Looking at him from the side, we have our temporalis muscle, muscle of mastication, and the masseter off the angle of the jaw, trapezius, deltoid. Trapezius on both sides. This one comes off. And under that, we have now, we can see our supraspinatus muscle, infraspinatus muscle, because here's the spine of the scapula. Here's your levator scapula going up from the ang superior angle of the scapula. Rhomboid minor, rhomboid major. Levator scapulae, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, trapezius, deltoid, deltoid, occipitalis. You can also see masseter on this side, right here where that little number 13 is, right over the angle of the jaw. And then this is the platysma, sternocleidomastoid. All right, here's our little friend here. We have frontalis, temporalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, masseter, sternocleidomastoid, trapezius, deltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, right here. External intercostal between the ribs, superficial. Internal intercostal between the ribs, deep. Serratus anterior, coming down like a serrated knife edge. Rectus abdominis. External abdominal oblique, superficial, hands in pockets internal abdominal oblique, deep to the externals. We know this is deep because we see all these ribs here. They've removed some of the muscles on this side. If we removed his chest plate, this is what we would see. We could see our deep most muscle here going straight across, transverse abdominus. This one going up is the diaphragm. We can also see diaphragm right under here in the lungs and in the posterior chest wall, underneath the lungs and on the posterior chest wall. So remember, it comes up like a bell. Okay, turning him around, we see occipitalis. We have our superficial back muscles, trapezius and latissimus dorsi. We can also see our infraspinatus, our teres minor, and our teres major. This side is our deep side. We've removed our superficial muscles. We can see our levator scapulae going up from the scapula, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, here's your spine, teres minor, teres major.
closer to his arm there. In for Spinatus, Terry's minor, Terry's major. Here's your deltoid. These are your trapezius muscles here. And here's your, here's your levator scapula. And also see your gluteus maximus and your gluteus medius very well here. Okay, just real quick before I move on to arms and legs, I wanted to show you these two heads. They're a little different. Here's your frontalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris around the mouth, temporalis, masseter, occipitalis here, trapezius, levator scapulae, rhomboid minor, sternocleidomastoid. Masseter, very nice on this one, frontalis here, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, sternocleidomastoid, occipitalis, trapezius, I guess that's it.